It's the end of May already, which means I want to run through my favourite products of the month. There are some products that I'm dying to talk about that I want to write proper detailed blogs about before I do, so um, there are lots of things I'm dying to mention that I can't. But out of the products I've chosen to talk about this month, my first is Bobbi Brown's SPF 25 Tinted Moisturising Balm. Now I wear this in a light to medium, I've also had the medium tint in this before. This is basically their extra moisturising balm which is one of their very luxurious moisturisers with a tint and with an SPF 25 and this goes on the skin it's so dewy and lovely and it gives really good coverage um, it, it won Tatler's foundation of the year so you could also call it a foundation but it just really blends nicely into the skin and leaves it really really dewy and glowing um, I love that it's got SPF 25 I love that it's a moisturiser a bit of a foundation tinted moisturiser protector all in one it's such an easy step um, I'm going to link the full blog that I wrote to this underneath um, crazy about this product absolutely love it ran out and rebought it again recently. In the UK it's £34, in America it's $52 plus tax depending on which state you're in. So it's just as cheap to buy in the UK as it is to buy in America. Um, highly recommend it, leaves the skin looking absolutely fabulous in one step. The next product that I'm going to mention today is a product that I'm planning to always have one of in my handbag. Um, it's the Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm. I had Pink Blossom in this and I misplaced it. So I got Tiger Lily, which is a kind of nude colour, thinking that um, Pink Blossom might still turn up. So love these. They're great to use under lipstick you can just put them on on their own just to give your lips a little bit extra colour um, really nice gloss very nourishing lovely to use when your lips are feeling a little bit chapped but you do want to wear a lip colour so I'll just put it underneath a lipstick that I'm using really really like them um, the next product this is something I've been using for years it's Max um, liner eyeliner in power surge and I use this instead of black when I don't want my um, eyes to look too harsh because black is quite strong sometimes and I love a black eyeliner but this day to day is great I just hold my eye when I've got no mascara on the bottom and I line inside and out really quickly and really hard I just keep running the pencil in and out and I'm wearing it today and this is kind of a goldeny shimmery browny color um, it comes up like that I've also got it on my eyes um, absolutely love it it's such a nice change from um, from black or plain brown. I've got a green one that's similar to this as well, but I use this all the time and it's something that I've been meaning to mention for a while. So kind of goldeny brown, um, lasts for ages and ages. I think this is only my third one I've ever had and I use these constantly. So they're a really good investment and something a little bit different to your standard colours. Um, the next product is also MAC that I'm going to mention. It's MAC Brush 109. Now, they call this a small contour brush, but I use this for blusher. I find that it really catches on the cheeks well, um, really, really nicely on the apple of the cheek. Um, yes, this is meant for contouring, so you can use it anywhere at all, but for me, I love this as a blusher brush. It's one of my favourite blusher brushes I've got, in fact. So that's Max Brush 109. I wrote down how much it is. It's £26. Um, a really good investment. Bristles don't come out. I mentioned recently in a blog that Clinique are launching eight new chubby sticks. And there were three that I really wanted to try. Pudgy Peony, Two Ton Tomato and Curvy Candy. Well, my pick this month is the Peony one. This is launched tomorrow on the 1st of June. Uh, this is a gorgeous peony colour. I love their chubby sticks. I already had their cherry one and their watermelon one. And the great thing about these is you can just layer them up. So I love using this over something like the Burt's Bees Tinted Balm. This is moisturising as it is. And the more layers you put on, the stronger the colour's going to be. So even though they're really bright colours, there are 16 colours now. They're really quite sheer. And this one comes out that kind of colour. A peony. Um, I've got it on my lips, which is probably a better example of what it looks like. Um... Yeah, absolutely love these. Really, really thrilled that they've brought out more colours. They last ages too. They're a twist, twist and push up. So what's good is as well, you're not sharpening, so you're not wasting any product. Big fan of them. They are £16 each. 
The next product that I'm going to mention is a bit of a bargain. I wasn't actually going to mention this particularly. I'm a huge fan of Superdrug's Vitamin E range, especially their Radiance SPF 15 moisturiser, which I've talked about at length. And this is their eye makeup remover from the range. The reason I'm mentioning this is a couple of the girls that I work with have asked me recently for eye makeup remover suggestions. I would always recommend the Dermalogica one. It's fantastic. But this, I think it's $1.99. Their incredibly underwhelming website did didn't tell me when I did a quick search for it then if it was $1.99 or $2.99 but it's definitely no more than $2.99 and I will do a proper search in a minute and find out the exact price but this is great now they would say to apply this with cotton wool and gently wipe around the eye area I just literally throw this on with my fingers um, and then cleanse so I just wash it all off together but it's just a really cheap great one to carry around um, very gentle it's obviously got vitamin E in it which is good for the skin um, it says for normal to dry skin but I think this is suitable for everyone um, it also works well over lashes if you've got any extra lashes on because I, I'm imagining it's oil free because it hasn't brought any of mine off but um, a really great cheap eye makeup remover that I love using and it's my travel one the last product that I'm going to mention this month is Daniel Sandler's Watercolour Blush. I'm a massive fan of this product. I picked it very early on as one of my products of the week. I've used this for years. Cherub, which this one is, is my favourite colour in the range. I did write a full blog detailing all of the colours and which skin types they'd be most suitable for. But I'll just quickly show you how Cherub works because I didn't do a video blog on it back then. You just put a little drop of it onto the hand, maybe two drops and it looks like that on the hand um, and then you just begin to blend it into the cheeks so it's so easy to apply and it really lasts powder blushes can really get eaten into the skin and this is just a watercolour that sits on top it's completely waterproof and fabulous cherub is my favourite colour from the range I've got about four of the colours and I love them all um, goddess is another great colour that I love that I think was just available on QVC for some time but different ones always get brought back and this is a really really great colour this is probably the most popular product Daniel does I think um, I'm a huge fan of all of his range pretty much um, but the watercolour blushes really stand out for me and for everyone else as well they are raved about and they really last on the skin there's 15 millilitres in that and it will last you for ages and ages um, so easy to use you could use it on the lips as well I'm not sure if that is recommended but you definitely can um, absolutely love these I'm gonna link this with everything in a blog underneath for where to buy any of the products that I've spoken about or if it's a product that I've spoken ab about before I will also link the the proper blogs with all the details under there too thank you so much for watching my pics of May I hope you have a lovely day and a lovely June